there have been charges, the most recent charges. Um, you don't directly take on some of the charges that they mm -hmm. brought up. Uh, one of them is that you charge minorities higher rates than, than white people for sales of mobile homes. What, yeah. what do you say to that? It's not true. Uh, there are a variety of factors that enter into the rate charged. Uh, the average rate was about 8.8% .8 last year, but these are smaller loans. These are not quarter of a million dollar loans to service. They're $60,000 loans. And, and they're made to people with lower FICO scores on average. People with uh, lower income people, 70% of the houses bought by lower income people, uh, $150,000 and under houses were manufactured homes last year. But it depends on your down payment. It depends on your FICO score. It depends on your your earnings. It depends on the percent of your earnings going to to uh, housing. It it depends on whether you own the land. Uh, there's a whole variety of of items, and they're all they're placed through something that has nothing to do with with your religion or your, you know your, your your color or anything of the sort. And and if you have a lower down payment, on average, you'll you'll pay a somewhat higher rate than if you have a higher down payment. If you have land, you'll pay a lower payment than if you don't have land. And there's, there's a Because the land's collateral, is that? Well, the land, yeah, if the land becomes part of the collateral for the, for the loan. Uh, if you have a higher percentage of your income going to, to uh, uh, mortgage payments, you'll, you'll, pay, you'll pay a little more. And, and, but similarly, the other way around, if you have a higher one, you'll pay less. Uh, so uh, there's a range of rates. It's not a huge range, but there's a range of rates depending on your credit worthiness. And we are lending to people who are lower income on average. These people would not have a home otherwise, but at the end of the year, 95.4% 95 of our borrowers were current on their payments. And, and we will have a home at the annual meeting that I think will cost $78,000 installed, but you have to have the land. And I will guarantee you, you'll think that's a very decent uh, those are very decent living quarters for that sum. I mean, they, we're taking care of a lot of people that would not otherwise have the chance for home ownership. The, you went through very specifically, or the Seattle Times, I should say, went through very specifically and made some charges where they looked at very specific cases where they say people were lied to on tape about um, whether or not there were other available lenders, uh, situations like that. Have you looked every, into all of those cases? Every single, we, we've got a copy in the annual report of a one-page item that lists the available lenders. It says, go to more than one. Uh, we don't make all the loans that are taken on our houses. They go. To, the local bank often makes them, but sometimes local banks aren't keen on making loans on manufactured homes. But in every office of ours, we have it posted on the wall. They read. It's a one-page thing. It's big type. They sign it. Now, does that mean that every single Transaction gets handled perfectly, no, and that's true. I mean, we've got 330,000 employees at Berkshire, and I will guarantee you somebody's doing something they shouldn't do today. But in terms of the, the tone at the top, the instructions, and I should point out, in the last two years, we've had 65 examinations, including examinations from 25 different states and federal, and the total amount of fines we've paid was $38,000 or something like that, and we made some refunds of $700,000. But we get it. We've got, we've got 300,000 loans. We're constantly examined by all the states in which we do business, and by the federal government. And you know, if you look at our record compared to most lenders, I think it's pretty darn good.